please do down in the comments below let me know what you actually want to see Wow. What did you just say? You just said you did it to me. I'm going to feed on you. A disrespect. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to the June vlog. I know we're like a third of the way into June. It's been a super busy month. Um, you would have seen already a little vlog telling you that we have got our first kitten together. It's my first kitten ever. My first time kitten before. But yeah, we're just on our little date lunch at John McDonald Club. It's Friday. Uh, this is a pre jumma munch. Um, what kind of wood did you get? The original. The original Donna Kebab. Have you had this before? Yeah. And then I got the, I never say it, the, I call it the Mancunian. <laughs> La Mancun wrap thing. We're gonna enjoy that. And then I'll chat to you some guys. So I said I would sit down and catch you guys up once I had the chance. I just feel like my head has not been in like social media zone. Probably since like the end of Ramadan um, and like I said in my last video obviously that's because a lot of it was to do with what's happening in Palestine and even afterwards you know after the ceasefire and everything there was still this massive like desire to just not create regular content like I just my heart's not in it right now. I went down to see my family for the long weekend that we had here which was lovely and then that very next week we got our kitten Rumi um so obviously like having a kitten is actually quite a lot of hard work um he's adorable he's so so cute but his nails are super sharp and it's just trying to get him to not you know get the nails out um I did take him to get his nails trimmed and all this stuff I could have vlogged but I just have not had the like headspace to do so um work has been a lot um that's all i'll say for now work has been a lot but i only have two weeks left as of the time that i'm filming this video which is crazy because i remember i remember like at one point it was like 13 weeks look here we are like almost in the middle of june already like time subhanallah is flying by <laughs> sorry guys the lighting is just really rubbish hopefully that's a bit better okay i thought i would switch up the angle <laughs> um this is all right i don't think i'd buy it again yeah just been really busy with that and then i decided to bite the bullet and spend a large chunk of my savings on a brand new camera so i went for the fujifilm um xt4 it was heavily heavily inspired by this photographer on youtube his name is john birch he's from america and i just i love his style of photography quality is so good and he shares so much behind the scenes like he literally like he'll shoot a wedding and have a little gopro on like showing what he's doing and then he like sometimes he does like editing live streams where he goes for his whole editing process i've even brought his like preset pack i'm really really like invested in the way he does things and so yeah i decided to bite the bullet and go for that which obviously is a large chunk of money like i spent over two grand at this point i got the camera two lenses i've ordered a double dual camera strap i've also got a battery pack with two spare batteries and a charger i didn't get the official fujifilm batteries because like one battery is 50 50 pounds and that pack was like two batteries and a charger for 50 pounds so i was like yeah i'm just gonna go for third party i know some people are really funny about third party batteries but i've always used third party batteries as well as the originals for my canons um, and then also on that note i'm going to be keeping my canon a to d alongside me until like this can become a proper business i'll be having a canon on one and a fujifilm on the other and what's going to be different about that is obviously the canon is a dslr and the fujifilm is a mirrorless so let me show you guys my new camera here it is this is my new baby so this is what it looks like it's so cute and retro i went for the silver look you could get the whole the completely black one but i liked the retroness of the silver one it's got the kind of like original dials at the top with like the iso the shutter speed and like the exposure the on off button is here this lens i've got on right now is a 16 millimeter it's a very wide lens very wide lens and i also got the 23 millimeter lens i didn't get the 35 one which is really recommended 
because I have the Sigma 30 millimeter and that's a 1.4. This might be making no sense to this. You guys are not into photography, but this vlog is going to be called something like big catch up, you know, new camera, blah, blah, blah. So those of you who are, so I'm going to be, I'm planning to have like my Sigma 30 on one shoulder at all times. And then between the 16 for the wide shots, the 23 is pretty wide as well. And they're both F, well, this is F 2.8 the 23 millimeters f2 and then i'm inshallah going to be buying in the next maybe two weeks the 50 millimeter by the way all the lenses that i'm buying are second hand um, i think the last time i probably bought a brand new lens was maybe like the pancake lens from canon like in 2018 or something since i found the site mpb i only buy used lenses because the quality is so good like photographers look after their glass and you're just you're saving money like it's going to be giving the exact same results it's just not brand new out of the box so if you can save like 100 pounds here or 50 pounds there why not so yeah all my lenses are used but the 50 millimeter is like even used is like five to six hundred pounds or price it's like 800 pounds so i do want that lens because that's the one that gives you like the really creamy bokeh in the background but I've just spent a lot of money so I need to kind of like make some money back from it first I'm so excited but also I need to put myself out there more and not just like necessarily sticking to Dundee but also a second shooter for other photographers getting that experience in um now I've got the gear alhamdulillah and like my strap is coming when the strap comes I'll show you guys it I just yeah this is really exciting for me I feel like this is like the first time in a long time that I've been so passionate about something and you you know I've always loved photography on my website which I've recently updated I wrote the first wedding I, I photographed was when I was 14 it was my uncle's wedding my mum's cousin's wedding and I just had my little Nikon digital camera and I was just going around taking pictures of everything and you know trying to get the blur in the background and everything and um then basically I came home and I made them a little photo album and I remember my mum's uncle, so like my nana, he was so emotional when he saw it and he was so touched. I enjoyed every part of that process. From then, like it was, it'd always been a passion, but obviously I never really saw it as a career. And then I went down the teaching route and now I've got like four years of teaching experience under my belt, alhamdulillah. But when I really think about like what my passion is, is definitely the creative field. And I just, enjoy most of the process of it i mean don't get me wrong like shooting events is very tiring you have to be like constantly like on the go your mind needs to be working all the time and then even this camera like i've had it this is like day three that i've had this camera and it's such a big learning curve compared to my canon because i'm not gonna lie with my canon i don't shoot in auto but i shoot shoot in tv mode so they choose the best shutter speed for you and then you can adjust the aperture whereas this is like you could put it on auto but it's best to kind of not and it's best to try and take more control over it and this camera is supposed to be incredible for, for videography as well so i've been talking and talking and talking but yeah super excited about this and then in terms of like other things there's been so much going on guys but there's some stuff that i just i cannot speak about because there's so much yet to finalize but inshallah when it's finalized then you guys will see the vlog from the start to the, the finish that vlog will be out in like a good couple of months but also i'll be wearing these clothes so i'm about to film that segment now but yeah alhamdulillah like life is life is changing very rapidly but life is good alhamdulillah just still like making so much dua for palestine and really hoping that the international community somehow like come through So having a pet doesn't have to be expensive, but it's so hard not to buy little things now that we have him. <laughs> I just know he's gonna love this kind of like pet tunnel. But how much stuff do we have? We've already have seen the room. It's pretty covered in stuff. Hard to resist. Who's gonna love something like that? I just love home bargains too, like it's so cheap. Like 99p, no batteries, you just need to pull this little thing. And he loves feathers and stuff. Look, there's um, a pet grooming brush for just 79p, which is cheaper than eBay as well. So I'm gonna get one of these softest BNM. I love their decor. Definitely not looking for any more decor for our current flat, but how cute are some of these things? We've got like a little woodland theme going on here. 
Hello. <laughs> I like how they update their stuff. Oh look, they've got beds as well. Very nice. Very low beds. That's what you're into. Oh my god, real house plants. How nice. The monstera plants for £18. This is so awesome. I'm so glad that they're stocking real plants. I won't be buying any more because Room is already trying to kill the two that we have. So, <laughs> but these are artificial. How cute this rattan furniture chest of drawers set is. It's £50. That is a very nice sideboard table. Now only £60. And you can get the matching TV stand there if you need one. One hour later. You hear in this purring? Hi! Rumi's just woken up from a nap. <laughs> he like squeaks. Well, guys, like, I've never. He's never met a cat who, like, or even a kitten who, like, meows like that. So, your food is here. I was just watching a video. My lovely friend Casia, whose channel is here. So proud of her, she's doing so well. She's already on 3.17k subscribers. And yeah, she's just doing amazing. So I was watching her latest video and now I'm about to go and make some naan. Hi! We did let Rumi come in the kitchen yesterday. We're slowly introducing him to the different rooms in the apartment. And um, he gets very overwhelmed because obviously he's only really like had that room in the hallway for a week, which is what you're supposed to do. And yeah, today I thought I would do a bit of cooking. I'm not sure how either of the things that I made turned out, to be honest. But I made this dal, which I used my sister-in-law's recipe. There you go, that looks a bit nicer. Um, however, I feel like it is a wee bit too spicy and I might need a bit more salt. And then I also am surprising the guy with his favourite, which is binia. He loves binia. Like his favourite handy. However, yeah, unfortunately, they've got a little bit burnt in the process. Okay, I think that's the best we're gonna get. Hopefully, there's some focus. So, you guys know our cooker wasn't working for literally seven weeks, and then since then, I pretty much only made like English food, like pasta and things like that. And then, obviously, we're down in Milton Keynes for like a long weekend, so I've not really done much cooking. I feel like I've just cooked today, and Rumi, you are not guessing on the counters. That's not for you. What I was saying was, yeah, I just, I'm not in the habit of cooking. I need to get back into habit. And I was on the phone to my amiji, my grandma. She was like, so, kya apne pakaya aaj? Like, what have you made for dinner today? And I was like, ah. I was like, um, it's gonna be an oven food today. And then, yeah, it just made me think, I do need to, like, just get back into a routine of cooking. Obviously, home cooked food is so much better for you as well. One minute, 37 seconds later. <sighs> You guys, having a kitten is it's a lot more challenging than I expected and obviously I was very naive. But you do have to like teach them behaviours and like cats are super intelligent, you can teach them. It makes me laugh how he like screams instead of like meows. He like yowls, he's like hello, pay attention. Because I'm really sad because like my vlog camera on my G7S, it's not focusing properly. Like I have to press the focus button like 500 times. I'm gonna just keep keep persevering a bit. I've also spent quite a lot of time with my new baby, which I know I've already shown you guys, um, but I just I love this thing so much. And yeah, I've got a nikah to shoot next weekend, next Saturday, which is exciting. Only like three and a half hours of coverage. So it'll be, in terms of like tiringness, it won't be too tiring, which will be good. And then two weeks after that, I am shooting another wedding. Um, so yeah, alhamdulillah, things are picking up. But I'll probably talk to you guys about that like in another vlog. This vlog I'm planning to just have up this weekend. But alhamdulillah, like that's kind of where I'm heading. It's just trying to get as much experience as possible, shooting as many events as possible. You know what's crazy? Like I really didn't expect to become a wedding photographer anytime soon. But obviously you guys know like the wedding in December, that was such a impromptu thing. I even said to my client, I was like, I've never done this before, like a full wedding by myself, just my responsibility, like it felt like a lot. Alhamdulillah it went well, I learnt a lot and um, I'm a bit, 
apprehensive because obviously like I've just got my mirrorless camera and then I've got an event next weekend but yeah every single day two three hours and there's so much information out there that's the beautiful thing about YouTube is there's so much info to be had alhamdulillah that you know there's no real excuse to not be able to learn if you've got a passion for it so yeah, now I'm gonna go make the naan. The naan that I am making, I'm not gonna tell you guys the recipe because I would usually show a recipe, but because this is from a cookbook, um, you know, of a fellow creative, someone who I feel like you should support because she's awesome. This is a cook with Nahida cookbook. It's actually got so many fantastic staple Asian dishes in here. And I've used her non recipe several times. And what was funny was like my husband did not believe that that's all it took. Like it's such a simple recipe. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make that now. I think I'm going to um, end the vlog there. So I hope you're well. Uh, it's been really nice to just pick up the camera again. I'm gonna do this more often. But please, before you go, and before I go, please do down in the comments below, let me know what you actually wanna see. Um, I think I'm gonna put this at the start of the video as well because I'm kind of like in a creative block like I've had a break from creating content and now I'm like I don't know what people want to see anymore like why did you subscribe to my channel what do you particularly want to see let me know down below and I'll try my best to do that and if it's more vlogs then that's fine <laughs> um I'll speak to you very soon goodbye from me and a yowling roomie